I think if I had known how difficult it was to get to this particular point, I'm not sure I would have started, to be honest. Um, so for any young entrepreneur or anyone who has a vision, you need to hold on tight to your dreams. Don't let them go. And it's going to be a difficult road, but just remember to ask for help. That's okay. There's lots of amazing people out there who will step up and be there for you. I wish I would have been more business savvy when I started. You know, no one, no one was ever like, so here's how you become an entrepreneur, Sonia. Uh, <laughs> so it's definitely been a build the plane as I fly it kind of situation. Nobody knows what they're doing. Everyone is just making it up as they go along. And it's almost a cynical thing, but, or it may sound that way, but it's not to me. I think it's actually just recognizing that we're all trying our best and we don't necessarily have expertise. We may know a bit more than the person next to us, but no one can fully understand uh, the depths and the complexity of the world. I often just think back and wonder how, when I was getting started in all of this, how straightforward I thought the world was. <laughs> and I guess uh, maybe if I would have known how complex and intertwined and also how important that everything always will just come down to humans in the end. Um, I guess I would have maybe gone into things with a different expectation. Create the experiences you want to have, enjoy them, love them, and along the way, what are you going to leave behind? What are you going to contribute to the consciousness of us? Because it's not about one person, it's about us. If I was to go back and speak to myself as a, uh, a young entrepreneur, I would uh, tell myself to slow down. Um, I think that as an entrepreneur, when you start out, you, you take loads of risks, you take on too much, and you eventually um, risk burnout. And I think it's really important to slow down, you know, make really meaningful com um, relationships with people, and uh, just believe and have faith that the business will grow on the back of you um, taking your time with people and building those relationships. It's part of what makes me really excited about being an EHF is that I am in a cohort of folks who have built businesses and sold them and built more businesses and sold them and done really powerful things in the world of business. I'm excited to figure out where is the um, synthesis between business acumen and knowledge and heart knowledge and spirit knowledge. 